Every irrigation system begins with a water source. From there, the water is transported through a pipe to the pumping station, which builds the pressure in the system. The filtration system ensures that the water quality meets the crop needs. The fertilizing system provides nutrients to the plants and the controller manages the irrigation process. Once the control head is installed, it can be connected to the main line, which in turn delivers water to the different field sections. Each section has its own control head with a dedicated control valve and a filter. A hose or a manifold is deployed at the head of the section. The drip lines are connected to the hose or manifold and laid out along the crop rows. From the water source to the drip lines, the system is now ready for operation. When the pump is turned on, it draws the water into the pipe through the suction filter in the reservoir. The pump provides energy to the water, enabling proper operation of the system. The filtration system blocks dirt particles, promoting effective and long-lasting performance. The fertilizer pump provides precise amounts of nutrients required to meet the specific needs of the plant at each stage of growth. The control valve on the main line regulates the water pressure as it moves downstream into the field sections. The valve maintains the required pressure and ensures that each field section receives the correct amount of water. The secondary valve is turned on according to the irrigation plan. The manifold is now filled, carrying the water throughout the field to the pre-installed drip lines. The drip lines produce sufficient and uniform flow, delivering an equal amount of water to each plant. Supported by effective irrigation, the crop seedlings can now emerge into the light and grow into strong and healthy plants.